Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the one thing the narcissist doesn't want you to understand. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist doesn't want you to understand this one thing. Once you've seen their mask slip, the narcissist turns against you because they're not going to be able to get that same type of supply from you anymore. So they devalue you to feel better about themselves because they can't be vulnerable. They can't let you see who they actually are because they believe that you would never accept them. They believe that they are unlovable because everything they're portraying themselves to be is the exact opposite of what they actually are. So it's a battle they cannot win. And once you become aware of it, it then becomes a battle against you because you know the truth. You've seen beneath the veil you know that they're no good for you. You know that they're actually lowering your value. And that is what they don't want you to understand because they're delusional. They're gaslighting themselves. They're viewing themselves as something that they're not because the reality of who they are is too difficult for them to deal with. So they deny it and they hide it. They pretend to be something else. Because they need you more than you need them. So they want you to think that you're better with them and as though you can't live without them. Which is why initially they manipulate you and love bomb you. And then when that doesn't work, they devalue you. Because they don't want you to realize that you're actually far better off not dealing with them at all. Which is why they gas like you. And it's why they're so hungry for power because deep down they feel powerless and helpless. They're very insecure. And that is why they have to take your power away from you while they use you to inflate their own feelings of self-importance, which means that it's fake. It's not even real. And that is why they're so insecure. Because while they may be gaslighting themselves, deep down they are aware of that. And this is why they use a false character. It's why they're so manipulative. They exercise control and influence over you. They're scheming, calculating and cunning. They pressure you in sneaky ways to get what they want. They manipulate your emotions because they wouldn't be able to obtain that naturally. They act confident, but they lack the necessary skills. Which is why just by being around you, they are lowering your value. And that is the one thing they don't want you to know. The reality is that they were only able to target us because we were susceptible to their manipulation. We believed in their lies and delusions. While other people may not have given them the time of day because they saw right through the, the, the facade, but we were willing to entertain it. We gave them chance after chance. We were naive and foolish, but at some point, even we began to wake up. And it's the same thing for anyone the narcissist gets in a relationship with. They may be able to fool them in the beginning, but once you've spent enough time around them, you no longer desire, or want to be around them because what they portray to you at the beginning is very different to who they actually are. And with all of this information out there, relationships with narcissists are now ending a lot quicker than they did before because people already know what's coming. They already know what's inevitably going to happen and they don't want to stick around for it because once the mask slips, you can't unsee it. You can no longer validate their false self after that. And yet, the narcissist doesn't want to accept it. It becomes a power struggle. 
because then they're trying to overpower what you've seen. So by that point, you can't even have a conversation with them because they demand respect for their false self. Yet you have already seen so many things that contradicts what they're displaying to you, which is why they want to have power over you because they want to manage your perception of them to the point where they can't even act normally. It's like they're not even a real person. You can't even talk to them without them getting angry while you're calm and you're trying to have a conversation, but they're deliberately provoking you to destabilize you and get you to act out of character so that they can point the finger and say that it's you and not them. You could be extremely sharp and accurate and as relevant and appropriate as can be, but they will still find a way to gaslight you and make you feel like you're doing something wrong because they already know that you're right. They just don't want you to be right. So they have to find something wrong to divert your attention from the fact that they're no good. They're not suitable for you, but they want the benefits. They need the supply. So they have to make you think that there's something wrong with you because otherwise they're not going to get that which is why they will never leave you feeling stable or secure or as though you don't need to do or accomplish something. They can never leave you feeling like you're enough. They have to gaslight you because otherwise you're going to awaken to the truth that they are lowering your value. They're making you appear as less than who you actually are and they don't want you to know that which is why no matter how good you are, you will always be left feeling like you're not good enough. They will always make you responsible for difficult and unpleasant things that you have to deal with to where it causes you a lot of worry or hard work. They will always be anxious and restless because they have to work overtime to prevent you from discovering the truth. And they will never stop. It's something they constantly have to do because they have to manage your perception so that you will keep providing for them, even while they're mistreating you, which is why they're so controlling. They can't just be themselves, because then they're letting you be yourself. And if you were to be yourself, then they would have to take orders. They would have to listen to you. But they want to be in charge. They want to have the power. So they have to gaslight you, even though it's not making anything better. But then in some ways, maybe it is, maybe it is making things better for them because they get bored easily. So they need drama and chaos. And then they have to control your mind because otherwise it's too boring for them. But then they wonder why you don't like them and why you don't want to be around them because they constantly gaslighting themselves. And if you try to confront them, they will lose their minds. So you just have to let them carry on being delusional while you continue to level up by doing the work. Because even if everything is going perfect, they will always do something unexpected and destructive. They will present you with a difficult and unexpected problem, situation or question because they just can't rest if everything is going to plan. They have to disrupt it because they're not wired to operate normally in a functional environment. So they have to find some way to screw everything up because that's the only way they can feel comfortable if things aren't how they're supposed to be because they're not how they're supposed to be. They're messed up in the mind. So when they create difficulties and problems for you, it empowers them. It makes them feel more powerful than you but it's just a feeling. Nothing in reality has actually changed. They're entertaining a delusional fantasy, something that only makes them feel better about themselves. It has no impact on the outside world. It just makes them perceive you differently. So then they perceive themselves differently. When the reality is that you are still better than them, they just don't want to accept it because it feels like they feel like it disempowers them. It makes them feel less powerful and confident 
when they're just not meant to have power. They misuse it because they're corrupt. Which is why while you're trying to build a life, they're just living life off of their feelings. But feelings do not produce good results. Which is why if a narcissist is ever in charge, they will ruin everything because they're not meant to have power. They make poor decisions because they don't think logically, which is why they're always behaving irrationally. Because rather than responding to the current situation, they're responding to their own emotions. Emotions which are not even relevant or appropriate to the situation because they're just responding to past traumas and they're not even aware of it, which is why nothing they do ever makes sense. And it's why you just can't deal with them. You have to keep going. You have to continue building your life, but don't let them see it because that will only make them lose their minds even more. It's like a slap in the face to a narcissist because you're waking them up. You're reminding them of their own inadequacy. So they have to teach you a lesson to then put themselves back to sleep. And this is why they couldn't listen to you. It's why they couldn't be friendly because to them, it's the same thing as accepting defeat, as accepting that they have lost the competition because everything is a competition to them. So instead they had to cause disturbance, confusion and uncertainty. They had to unleash their disorder because it's either that or they had to accept that you are greater than them. And no narcissist is going to accept that idea of their supply source because then you wouldn't be their source anymore. They wouldn't be able to use you for anything. And instead they would be taking orders from you. But even if you are aware of your worth, if they can't get you to be who they would like you to be, they're just going to find another sucker. They're going to find someone else who is willing to accept less than what they deserve. And they're going to control that person like a puppet until they have no mind of their own, until they have none of their own ideas, and they're unable to make their own choices about what should be done because that's all a narcissist is really looking for. A machine an object, someone who does what they're told rather than someone who thinks for themselves. And that's all they end up with, a bunch of puppets who end up becoming their enablers and flying monkeys. But if you wake up and you begin to think for yourself, then they develop this crabs in the bucket mentality where they do everything in their power to destroy your ambitions while you try to improve yourself because you make them feel powerless. Which is why they make things difficult and unpleasant for you. They gaslight you, they lie to you. They cause problems so that things that would normally be effortless for you are not effortless for you anymore. Because of what it says about them, it makes them feel inferior, which is something they don't want to accept. Because they want to feel superior to you even though it has no basis in reality. So essentially, they have rejected reality to partake in a fantasy where they are supreme because they cannot accept their own shortcomings and they just want the validation. They want the applause to validate this false character that they have concocted in their minds when people with power who are not corrupt don't even care about that. They don't need the validation. Their validation comes from knowing that they have been of service and that they have improved people's lives. But even if you have improved the narcissist's life, they won't even tell you that. They won't even let you see it. Because while they may be gaslighting themselves, deep down they understand that you're actually about something for real. You actually cared enough to want to make them happy, to want to make things better for them while they were just thinking about how they could steal, kill and destroy because they're selfish. They're just all about themselves. And that's what makes us greater than narcissists. This ability that we have to go beyond ourselves, where we pursue our best selves, 
and we focus on becoming more open, understanding and considerate of the bigger picture. We care about the world and what the future beholds with our current behaviour and actions towards it. And that is what makes us worthy of our own existence. Because while we may not try to appear perfect, overall, we are a benefit to mankind. And together we have made the world better than if we had not existed. And this is why narcissists wear masks. This is why they hide. Because they, ha they know they have no place in our societies. They know they're not making life better for anyone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.